may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready, get ready! Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Share, subscribe, like this video, and make sure you put your prayer requests in the bottom. Get up early this morning. I gotta go take have some blood tests. They're all over this thyroid, so I've got to get that done today. I hate getting any kind of blood done. I don't like needles at all. So we've got that happening today, and there's just like I said, tons of news that we're going over. We're watching Israel like a hawk right now. With everything going on it says hamas indicates it will snub the latest hostage deal which will put israel going into rafa and we pretty much know america has pretty much done everything they can to go against this so this is huge news and this is going to tighten the reins between america and israel and the icc and many more things that are happening right now surrounding israel that's why i said right now is a very important time to hold both hands around Jesus' leg and do not let go because all the indicators are there that we're at the main end. <clears throat> Lebanon-based Osama Hamdan said Meteor's uh, latest proposal is negative. Warns Rafa OP would collapse talks as terror groups said readying to submit a amended outline of its own. Hamas on Wednesday night appeared poised to reject the latest hostage deal proposal crafted by the mediators and greenlit by Israel. Osama Hamdan, a Moss official based in Lebanon, told the Hez uh, Hezbollah affiliated, affiliated El Minar TV, our, uh, our position on the cur current negotiating paper is negative. Hamas's press office uh, clarified this. The negative position does not mean negotiations have stopped. I can already tell you they're not going to go through. Something bad's going to come for this. That's what God's warning us about. The terror group has reportedly slated to submit on Thursday an amended proposal to the one crafted by uh, the Egyptians and American brokers, but it's unclear whenever, wherever Israel will be prepared to demonstrate further flexibility after it's already agreed to release 33 female, elderly, and sick hostages in the first stage of the truce deal following Hamas's rejection of the previous proposal, uh, and that and envisioned the release of 40 of the most v vulnerable hostages. Hamas opposition to the latest offer stems from the belief that the proposal doesn't go far enough in uh, catering to an end of the war. The Arab di diplomat told the Times of Israel instead the envisions the slides holding during the first six weeks phase of a permanent ceasefire. There's not going to be no ceasefire. Israel has refused to commit comment to ending the war and Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu told visiting U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken on Wednesday that the IDF would launch a massive invasion into Rafah to dismantle Hamas's remaining battalions in Gaza. Southernmost city, it regards as whether or not there is a hostage deal according to Israel or official. They've already said no matter what this deal is, they're going in. Hamden warned that Hamas will walk away from negotiation if Israel launches its long pledge operation, and they've already said they're going to. So the, the, the outcome of this leads us to where we are. That's why I said there's going to be nothing good come from this. And the United States is getting ready to do something really bad, too, because we can go by the Bible and tell you that. God's confirmed to us too many times that this right here is the deal that leads us to where we're going. That's why we've been told to watch it and keep up with it and what's happening with NATO. He warned us several years ahead of time between what's going to happen with Russia, Ukraine, and America. All this is there, people. There's going to come a time very soon where there's no end. 
We're not going to see it. That's why I'm telling you the rapture of the church is so close. But they're on the verge. Most people walking around, I was thinking about today, I was out uh, getting some stuff and literally looking around and people are just oblivious to what's about to happen to them. They have no clue. They're going to wake up one day very soon and the world is going to be gone and they're not going to know what to do. They're going to be absolute, and people just doesn't believe it's coming. The church don't even believe it's coming, but it's coming. God has told us. He's confirmed it. We've seen it. The ones that are awake are seeing it. The other ones are not awake, and they refuse to see it. But this is coming. Now we are saying that it is, uh, it's on Hamas. Hamas has to decide whether it will take the deal and actually advance in the situation. I can already tell you they won't because the Bible tells us that this is not going to go well. It may seem to go well, but it will fall apart. Which last month Israel uh, began using it to more directly transfer aid to Gaza. Now, as we've been saying, it's on Hamas. Hamas has to decide whether or not to take the deal. Blinken also reiterated Washington's opposition to the major IDF ground evasion. I've already told you. America has its eyes on taking Israel apart. God's already showed us that. America has already made its decision. That's why the X was formed over the United States on the 8th. That's why. Absence an effective plan to make sure the civilians are not harmed, one of Israel's has yet to provide. And um, understand, America does not care about Palestinians, okay? They don't care about their safety. They could care less. All they want is a two-state solution. God's already showed us that. America's goals are evil. And they keep it hid from the American people. But it is evil. And God will deal with it. He's already made that known. There are better ways of dealing with the real ongoing challenge of Hamas and do not involve or require a military operation in Rafah. That is a lie. Israel knows what we know. There is no, you have to go in and eliminate these people because you can't just give them the country back. They'll do it again. They're not stupid. Even though our country is plum ignorant and our leadership is just the dumbest people ever put in office by far. Ever. But see, like I said, when you get handed over to a reprobate mind, it looks stupid to us, but that's what's happening. See, God tried to get our government to take, take a turn, but they wouldn't do it. So he's like, okay, so he handed it over. That's why their decision seems so stupid, and we can't understand because it's, they've been handed over to this reprobate mind. This is what happens. When you've been handed over to a reprobate mind, this is how you act. Even though the it's so simple of the idea what to do, they can't do it because it just it just seems stupid. Because their pride and arrogance, that they think they're in control of this world, and they're not. And they're all about to find out the hard way. They have no control. That God's about to remind them of that. And they won't see it coming until it's too late. While Israel's negotiation team approved the deal that Hamas appeared slated to reject, it is unclear whether Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's government would be willing to give the final sign-off. The uh, far-right coalition parties have repeatedly slammed the proposal as a surrender to the terror group, and it is. An initial war go of eliminating Hamas governing capabilities in Gaza, and they have plenty threatened to topple the government if it is approved. They are demanding an imminent offensive in Rafah, which has been promised by the government for several months. And I have a feeling it's about to happen. That's why God showed us about this May the 8th all them years ago. So we got to really keep our eyes open the next week and a half to see well, how this is going to play out. Earlier Wednesday, the Lebanese news outlet published what it says the text of a truce offer presented by uh, to Hamas late last week. The first stage of the deal to, to last 40 days would involve a phased withdrawal of Israel troops from part of the Strip in order to allow the movement of humanitarian aid and the return of the civilians to their homes. The deal would provide 500 trucks, including 50 fuel trucks, to enter the Strip each day with supplies designated to rehabilitate the Strip. Israel would cease aerial surveillance of the Strip for eight, eight hours each day for 10 hours that day that hostages are released. The mosque will release at least 33 living captives, female civilians and soldiers, children under the age of 19, the elderly, the sick, and so on. 
for every uh, female civilian and child release, Israel would free 12, uh, 20 minors and female Palestinian prisoners for every elderly, sick, and injured hostage released. Israel would free 20 prisoners and 50 who are also sick and injured. See, this is a propaganda piece. Israel's already said that no matter what they do, they're going in there to eliminate those. But see, this is to turn you against Israel. What they're doing in the colleges right now to turn kids against Israel. This is all ploy of Satan. He knows what we know. We're getting ready to go home. So he's gearing up for this final run. He don't have much time. He doesn't. And he knows that. So he's got the digital money all in hand. He's got the new world order ready to go. Everything's there. The only thing left is the rapture of the church. But he's ready to run with this. Most of the world won't see it. They don't want to hear it. They refuse to hear the, the warning signs. They refuse. There isn't too many of us that are awake that are hearing God screaming at us to get on that boat. And that's exactly what the Bible said. What happened in the last days, you're seeing it with your own eyes and hearing it with your own ears. Look around you and tell me scripture is not happening right now. What does people tell you when you tell them Jesus is coming? The same thing they tell me. It ain't coming. Y'all been saying that forever. The same thing Jesus said they would say in the last moments. But all the signs are there. So, what we're seeing now is it playing out in real time. For every female soldier released, Israel would free 20 prisoners serving in life sentences and another 20 serving uh, 10 years at most who may be released to Gaza or abroad. Hamas would provide a list of prisoners it wants to be released containing up to 20 names. Israel would retain a veto of the names provided by Hamas. From the 16th day of the truth, the signs would begin interact negotiations on the arrangement to restore sus sustainable calm to Gaza. That's not going to come either, the Bible tells us. Second stage of the deal to the last 42 days would involve completing agreed upon arrangements for sustainable calm. We'll also see the release of remaining Israel male civilians and soldiers in exchange for the certain number of Palestinian prisoners and the full withdrawal of the IDF troops from Gaza. That's not going to happen either. The third stage, which will last 42 days, will involve the exchange of dead bodies from both sides uh, and the implementation of the five-year rehabilitation plan for Gaza, including a provision that Hamas must stop rebuild its military infrastructure. That's never going to happen. These people want to eliminate the Jews. That's never going to stop. Israel it can't be that stupid to believe that, and I know they don't. Israel has estimated that 129 of the hostages seized on October 7th remain in Gaza, not all of them alive following a November truce. Four hostages were released prior to that, and they were rescued alive by troops. The bodies of the 12 hostages have been recovered, including the mistakenly killed by the military. The IDF has been confirmed has confirmed the deaths of 34 of those still in captivity. In addition to the hostages seized on October the 7th, Hamas has also been holding the bodies of the fallen IDF soldiers, Oren Shaw and Haydar Godlin, since 2014. My goodness. As well as two Israel civilians uh, who were both thought to be alive after ending the strip on their own accords in 2014 and 2015, respectively. What do I know about this? I will tell you this. This situation between Hamas and Israel is not going to go well. It may seem to come to a peaceful conclusion, but it will not end up that way. Something bad is going to happen. Just like something really bad is going to happen between Ukraine, Russia, and NATO forces. This is all coming. I can guarantee it. God's told us. He's warned us. He's pleaded for us to literally just plead to people to get on that boat. That's how I know this is all going to go wrong. And it's going to go really bad. The tribulation is going to start any time. That's what's coming. God has given us enough time, a couple of years, to get as many people on that boat and wake up as many as we can. And I thank him for it. He didn't have to do that. He's told many a people. They just refused to hear it. Many. But thank God we did. Because, literally, 
we've gotten enough. We've got quite a few people on that boat. We brought enough. We woke up quite a few people. And we got to thank God for that because if it wasn't for Him, it would have never happened. We're very close to the end. As I said, we got to watch Israel right now in this Hamas deal because I think it's going to go really, really wrong. Even though they might tell us it's going to go really right, it's something bad's going to happen in it. Along with what's happening with Ukraine, Russia, and NATO, it's going to end up really bad. One day, very soon, something's just going to go wrong. The rapture of the church is going to happen in that time period, which is very soon. And now that we know from the information that the Lord gave this little child that our home in heaven has been completed, the timing is any time now. You're like, what well, do you trust this little child? Let me tell you something. A child, they have no filter. Also, the Lord knows Stephanie had a channel. He knew that. That's why he made sure that little child told Stephanie, because he knew Stephanie would go to YouTube and tell what she heard. She obeyed what she had to hear. Now, the Lord knows what he gave me 20-some years ago with May the 8th being an alarm going off, signaling that after May the 8th, something bad was coming for the world. So he knew we'd put all this together because we're watching. That's what we do. We watch. He's confirmed many times about this year that something was going to happen this year, the 5784. He's confirmed that over and over to many people. When he starts doing that, you know you better start watching. That's why I told you to put both your arms around his leg and do not let go. Not now. Be watching and be listening. Because let me tell you something. It's about to get interesting. And those who want to go home, you're about to get your wish. Because we're about to go home. Anytime. Trust the gospel, 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4. Jesus died on the cross for our sins, past, present, and future. He died, was buried, rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. Those that are lost, your time is limited here. I wouldn't wait another day. Get on that boat. Jesus died on the cross. He shed his blood for me and you. Trust it, believe in it, and you will be sealed into the day of redemption, which is not too far off. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going home. You know it. I know it. I'm at peace with it. I don't know when it is, but I know it's coming. God has warned us. He has pleaded and begged. But all the signs are there. The prophecies are coming off the pages like we've never seen. With what's happening with Israel and NATO and Russia, it's all there. The world has come against Israel. She's surrounded Everybody's just looking to pick her apart, including the United States. God has showed us that. But God is getting ready to move. And it's not going to be pleasant for the world, but it will be for us. Because the place that we're getting ready to go to, we don't have to ever deal with this junk ever again. But the rest of the world's about to get the rudest awakening they've ever gotten. And they're going to know instantly. They're going to know what happened. They're going to know Jesus come and got his people and the rapture of the church was real. The others are going to be blown away and they're going to realize they was wrong. That's what's about to happen. And they're going to be disgusted and literally gnash their teeth because they're going to know they had to go through the seven year tribulation. It's not going to be pleasant for them, the ones left behind. But luckily, many tribulation saints will be saved during this time. A lot by just us getting the information out to them so they'll know to not take the mark of the beast. But the mark of the beast is ready to go. It's all there. This stuff is ready to roll out as soon as we leave. So it, it's never been there before, but it is today. The digital currency is ready to go. One world government is ready to go. It's all there. It's all set up. The heifers have been sacrificed. They can build the temple now. It would only take them two to three months to build it. That's it. They've said that for years. It won't take them that long. They've got every bit of the material that they need already in storage. It's ready to go. Everything is there. It's just people either believe it or they don't. But right now, you better ask yourself a question. You better go to God right now if you, if you don't believe it and ask him. He'll confirm it yourself. All you got to do is just go to him. 
If you don't believe we're in the last days, ask him. That's all you have to do. Don't take my opinion for it. Ask him yourself. He'll give you the same information he gave me. When I first got it, I didn't understand it either. I didn't know what was going on. But now I do. I see it. We're at the end. I want to thank each and every one of you for bringing me into your household each and every day. I want to remind you, try to get as many people on that boat as possible. Because literally, we just don't have much more time. I think you guys know that as well as I do. And I'm going to keep reminding you until the day we're gone. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for another day, Lord. Thank you for giving us the signs. Thank you for giving us little, this message to that little boy. We know our home is done, and we know that our home here is about to be, it's about to go away. And we're about to go to our true home, which is in heaven. Ask for you to watch over the watchmen and the watchwomen around the world on each of these networks. We know what time we're in, and we know that the evil is coming at us. Protect them and their families with a shield in Jesus' name. Ask for you, Lord, to watch over the Jews. We know what's coming for them. Keep, we want them to be protected, Lord, as much as you can in these dark days ahead. In Jesus' name, it will be done. Ask you to watch over the sick, the conflicted, the homeless, all of them, Lord, to get them to the place of the rapture. We know we're not too far off. We thank you for this, Jesus. I pray for all the innocents around the world. Be with them in these dark days. Get them to the point of the rapture so we can all leave together. In Jesus' name, it will be done. We thank you, Lord, for watching over all the ones who come against us in these last days, in these channels, and us that are preaching the, the correct gospel. We ask you to watch over them, Lord, and lighten their hearts before it's too late. In Jesus' name, I ask you, Lord, to watch over all these people, their names that are in the comments, their family members, their friends. They will be saved before it's too late. In Jesus' name, thank you, Lord, for just letting us be awake to see the signs that we're almost out of here. We thank you for that, God, in Jesus' name. We know we're almost home, and we're waiting, Lord. We're outside waiting on you to come and get us, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for building a roof over our head and food on our tables. In Jesus' name I pray, and amen. Be ready, people. We're one day closer to home. Thank you once again for tuning in to Global Rapture Watchers, where we do daily updates here on YouTube, letting you know that we're one day closer to our Lord and Savior coming back. Thank you for all the support for this channel. This channel was created for God's sheep, those that are waiting for their Lord and Savior to come back and get us in these last days. We do updates once to two times a day here on YouTube. Thank you for all your support for the channel. God bless each and every one of you.